I am here to help the movement figure out how we get uh, more effective finance for community-based adaptation at the local level. I just facilitated a participatory session on uh, financing uh, CBA at the local level. Well, we were we were, we took the session as kind of a, a really nice chance to network with our peers, um, and we very much wanted a participatory session. So we got people uh, into groups. So we had three key speakers giving sort of top line messages and learning from their program about how the change that they've managed to bring about happened, and then we broke down into groups and did some power analysis, looking at. Um, with the communities, this is our diagram, so with the communities at the core, what can the different levels of uh, decision makers who hold power and make decisions about these people's lives, how can we get them to listen to what they're saying? So we broke down the groups and we got them to look at mapping the key decision makers and the key funds and finance, uh, and then looking at the power analysis, so thinking about uh, what are the gender dimensions? Are there any allies to uh, adaptation funds at this level? Are there any opponents to that idea? Any hidden agendas uh, that we need to be aware of? Those kind of questions. And then we got them to produce some asks. I think it was good. I think they're quite tired of sort of being spoken at. <laughs> so at the presentation at the beginning, I thought they were a little bit tired, but I think there was a lot of really uh, dynamic and quite interesting conversations. Um, you know, we didn't have to prompt anybody. They were quite up for sort of sitting together and chatting and mm. trying to find solutions. So it was great. with quite a few here at different levels. Uh, so at the community and household level, we uh, want higher levels of climate social justice. So it's much more about just projects. It's about um, these, issues, these are issues of social justice and that came out very strongly from the community group, which is great. Uh, to strengthen, to have strong, transparent funding mechanisms. Um, to address carbon finance. Uh, with differentiated needs, what else have we got? Inclusion of most vulnerable groups, uh, better governance of climate finance, but for it to be more transparent and accountable, that was a really strong uh, theme throughout it. Uh, mainstream gender, gender was a very big issue that came out. Uh, a more friendly process for CBOs to access finance, I really like that one, I thought that was very interesting. Um, need for finance for climate change adaptation and implementation so to go beyond plans I mean I think that reflects a lot of the countries that we work in as well to move it beyond the planning stage um, risk management linked to markets uh, stronger links to funding on DRR and humanitarian support which is again great and I think the higher go framework for actually looking at that connection between CBA and uh, ecosystems based approaches uh, more transparent and accountable, longer term funding, very everybody says the same thing. Um, stronger links to broader development agendas, community centred approach, and more flexible funding to respond uh, better to community priorities. So, a lot about transparency and accountability, a lot about community participation, a lot about linking sectors. Those are the kind of takeaways. Now, I think the summary of it would be more transparent and accountable, greater levels of participation, and linking between themes. <laughs>